Hey, I'm Jonathan here, a Repossible Podcast and YouTube channel. I've got something different this week. I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes here at uh, Repossible Publishing, and we're going to do some some Amazon ads. Now, if this is just not your cup of tea, stay, come on, stay tuned again next week, and uh, we'll get back to our regularly scheduled programming. But for some of you who know I'm an author and nonfiction author, this is I thought some of you might like to see what goes on behind the scenes here with uh, a nonfiction author. So here we go. A, a nonfiction author who, by the way, does marketing and sales and advertising and everything behind the scenes and knows how to do it well and and uh, and there's a lot of it. So I'm going to show you here. This is Amazon advertising behind the scenes. Over here on the left is my Amazon advertising dashboard. I, these are eight different regions. There's U.S., uh, Germany, U.K., Italy, France, uh, bu 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 Canada, Australia, and yeah, that might be it. So here is, where, where am I? Austra this is Australia. And I'm going to show you how to add a new Amazon advertising campaign. So here's a bunch of campaigns. Some of these are really good. Cool. I've just revived a few of them as I've been getting back into it. And what I want, this is a portfolio called Box Sets. I want to advertise a particular box set, my entire box set of nine repossible books. And over here on the right, the information I'm going to need for this, here's going to be the campaign name and here's the book I'm going to do. So here we go. I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the whole, and again, if this is just not your cup of tea, no worries, come on back next week and uh, we'll get some more motivation, inspiration, but maybe this is motivational, inspirational for you. I mean, if you look at the spend versus sales, Right, I spent that much, made that much in sales. This is sort of, it's a, a Amazon cost of sale. That's what this does, right? So, you know, these aren't huge numbers, but imagine a zero or two behind those. So that's the hard part, by the way, is getting uh, more traction, really. If you know anything about advertising, like Facebook ads, they will take your money, like you might as well just throw it out the window. Whereas Amazon, it's it's kind of weirdly hard to spend money you want them to spend money because you, if you're doing well, like that one is, then you, it's gonna, it could work, right? So let's get through this pretty quick under 10. I'm gonna first, by the way, we do one campaign per book. So I'm gonna do this one. This is the ebook. First thing I'm gonna do is give it a name because if I don't, things get really nasty. Name structure. So I copied it from my list over there, down there. Go ahead and do a couple things while I'm down to this one. You wanna give it, you don't wanna set it to forever. You wanna, Give it, you know, a few weeks or a month, and let it uh, kind of show that you're 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 in a hurry about this. You know, you want you want stuff to happen. Okay. So, by the way, normally when I do this, I'm not going to do it right now, but normally I would do all of the different countries here, right? I'm not going to do it now, like Australia, just to show how this works. So I came up with a campaign name, got a campaign name, and I'm kind of going to go backwards. I'm going to go dynamic bid down only. That means I I. I want them to lower my bid when they think it's when it's possible. I don't want them to raise it. Really confident about this these keywords, I would let them do this top one. But this is a new ad, so I don't know yet. So I want I want to play it safe. I want to go down only. So we got the title uh, portfolio box sets. I'm going to start today and in a few weeks. Daily budget of ten. So this is interesting. I can make this a hundred. It doesn't matter. They're not going to spend it. I mean, rarely would they spend it. All right. Uh, I'm this ad group name, uh, this gets a little trickier. It's, it's, if you know Facebook ads as well, you have like your campaign and your ad set and your ad itself. I'm, I'm, I could just do the same thing here. I could give it the same as that. It doesn't really matter. So then I'm over here and choose my ebook. So I have his books, right? So I'm going to add in here and it's a book. Remember, I'll do the paperback next. So there we can see, bup, 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 complete set, add. That's the one I want to do an ad for this time. All right. Now, this is automatic targeting. That's what if I just want to let Facebook, uh, Facebook, if I just want to let Amazon do whatever they want, which is actually uh, not a bad idea. They do know what they're doing. And I do recommend doing an automatic ad, but I've already done that. So you don't want, you don't need to do more than one of those. Let's let it do its automated thing and you quite a bit. For, for here, I'm going to do manual targeting. And then when I do, well, I get these two options here, or product. Product, 
things like, just to show you what it does, I mean, categories, which is also cool, but it can be spendy, and then individual products. I think this individual products is actually really neat. Like I can target a specific book, right? So kind of cool. But for now, I'm going to do keyword. Keyword is usually the best, and uh, it, but if you know your keywords, right? So I've, uh, this is really important stuff here. Default bid. I'm going to make a bid. I, this is Australia, but I'm going to do 36 cents. And I don't want phrase or exact. It kind of makes, that would make three keywords. I just want broad. Broad kind of includes phrase and kind of includes exact. And this is a, a newer ad, a new, um, new ad. So I want to see how it works. So I want default bid of 36 cents. This is good for, especially for like a big, a big paper uh, ebook like this with many books. And then I want to, and I did default bid. I did broad. Okay. So now I'm going to do interlist. So I over here on the right, and this is actually the hard part. I've already researched this group of keywords. So I'm going to copy that. Put it in here. And if it doesn't let me do some, then I, I probably doubled up. So those are probably doubled. That's fine. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. That's that. So, I could be done, but I like this negative targeting here. So I think I, let me see. Yeah. Here's my negative keywords for Amazon. So this is stuff, free Kindle books. So this is not a free book. I don't want freebie seekers coming and I don't want them to type in free books and get my book because they want free books. I don't want them to find my book. So I'm going to say, here's this group of keywords. I'm going to put that in. Add keywords. So now if somebody searches for this one, Christian weight loss, now apparently I've had that search and that is not what my books are about. So I don't want people, if to search that, I don't want them to find my books. All right. So let's see. I think, yeah, and I want down only. I thought I already clicked that. And crazy enough, we're actually done. So we've got Here's my keyword. By the way, I, the naming convention I use is this is the series. This is which book. So this isn't one book, but it's this, well, kind of one book. It's this entire box set. So box and then all of the box set. E is for ebook. Key is for what type of ad is a keyword ad, not a category ad or an auto ad. And because it's a keyword ad, here's happiness. Okay. So I would, I got which one? I got that one. Great. Good angle. Keyword entered my list. It's over there. Double check your bid. A friend of mine put the decimal place in the wrong place the other day and was bidding $30 and she spent hundreds of dollars in a matter of hours. So be super careful if you're doing, you know, that's, this is really important to bid. You want that to be in a certain place. So, and I just do broad because these are kind of included. Not really does keyword. I like negative keywords because I don't like all this junk. I don't want them to find my books. I only want them to go down if they think going down would be beneficial for me. And remember, Amazon is in this for the money, right? They want they want me to sell books. They want me to make money because they make money when I make money. So then I've got the campaign name is that. Then I've got start date now, ends then, total budget that. So the next thing I'm going to do is exactly the same, except this is going to be a P instead of an E. And I'm going to do the exact same, except which book am I going to search? It's going to be the uh, paperback version and not the ebook. And you might ask, well, why don't you just put them both in here at the same thing? I could, but I the reporting, I like the reporting to have one campaign in one book. So I can really be clear, this campaign is doing this and that campaign is doing that. And if I did it that other way, I'd have to dig into each campaign and look and see, aha, the paperback is doing better or whatever. So that's it. I'm done. Let's campaign. That's it. You have just seen a an Amazon ad campaign being created for a box set in, where is this again? Australia. And again, I will go do this for my other seven regions right now, and I'm going to call it a day. So that's it. Thanks. You can see it all here. It takes a few minutes or a few hours to get accepted. Uh, I mean, I do this all the time, so they get accepted quickly. But if you'd like to know more about this stuff, or especially... Uh, if how to how to sell books and especially if you're if you're a nonfiction author, find me and I can help you with this kind of stuff. All right, 
Thanks again, Bradley Sharwin, with a very different podcast this week and YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, catch up for the next week. Bye for now.